Hello everybody. This is the final from round four of MCC Pro-Am Karting's um, 2022 series. This race happened a few weeks ago, but I've been quite busy so I wasn't able to get to the video just yet. But better late than never, wanted to get it out. We've got a bunch of footage coming up after this video of the CKNA, CKNA Grand Nationals, uh, Grand National 6, I believe, held out in um, at Newcastle Motorsports Park over this past weekend. But I'll get to that later. Right now, we just took the green. I started this race, I believe, in 13th position. Yep, I was on the inside, so you have 13th. Coming down, I'm, I'm going pretty fast. I got a little more of a bump than I was expecting. I had to kind of climb on the brakes and not get into the, thir the 23. And I ended up scrubbing off a little speed where I might have been able to stay in front of the 13, but who knows. I didn't crash, so all was good. I'm still basically where I was when the green dropped with a, you know, now we're only a couple turns in. So I have plenty of time to try to get past these folks in front of me. My times had been getting better through the day. This, I believe, this is my second race with this, uh, you know, trying this new section of track out in the back that we're in at this point in the video. With this uh, last turn being my nemesis. But I was getting better at it. At the pre-final, I think my fastest lap time was a 111.1 or something like that. And, you know, the winners were running a 109, you know, 109 point, I think, like 8 or 7 or something like that. They were there on the higher end of the 109s, but uh, a solid, like, second and a half in front of me about. And, you know, my goal is to, I obviously want to close that gap so that I can try to run with the guys up front. But at this stage, I've... I, got my gearing figured out and I probably have about I don't know maybe 25 to 30 laps under the belt you know with this um, national configuration where we're you know going through this new section back here so it's starting to come to me I'm getting the entry in a little better right here where before I was blowing it a little bit and sliding out too deep and getting kind of caught up in the loose stuff out there and I'm, and I'm getting a little better at this last little turn right here. I haven't really tried to make any chassis adjustments to, to help get around that corner. I've just been trying to improve the line for right now because basically my cart feels like it's handling pretty good. It's predictable. Um, seems to go around the corners fast enough. I'm not really getting smashed by anybody through any of the, any of the part that I am fairly well practiced at, which is, you know, all the turns except for the new section. As I said, this is round four. Round two is canceled. I don't know how that's going to work out as far as uh, how the actual seasonal points are, are, are tallied. I did say that there would be one drop allowed but I'm wondering if round two is going to be considered the drop. Although it was just canceled, we didn't have it, so there was nothing to really drop there. If that counts as the drop, then I'm kind of in trouble because I didn't miss round five. Round five is just, um, it was the same weekend as the Grands, so I went to the Grands and was not able to, you know, attend round five. But right now, I'm hanging with the 318. As you can see, we have a... It's not a gigantic gap. I mean, you can see the guys up there. But we do have, I don't know, probably two, three-second gap up to the next group of about four or five carts. And then I believe there's probably about four or five carts in front of them. The 55 did get around the 84, so the 55's coming. He was quick. I believe he did qualify, you know, faster than me. I was just able to get around him at the start. And the 318's been running pretty strong uh, lately as well. 
He's got the um, Comet Eagle up there. Got a lot of those in our in our general vicinity. We're not too far away from Indianapolis um, with uh, Comet Carding is in the suburbs of Indianapolis. So it's only about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute drive from Cincinnati area. So a lot of folks get their carts out there if they're going to get a brand new one because they've got you know supports fairly close by. But I have started to see a uh, surge of coyotes which is what the 55 right behind me is driving and he has now closed up. I was kind of expecting him to close up, but he doesn't really tap me much so I don't really know he's back there. Because sometimes when I look I don't see him, and sometimes when I look over my shoulder I, I do see him, but it, you know, to me I, I think I'm holding him off. But he's just, he's tucked in good and he's just riding around. I'm sure he wants to get around me because if I can see those cards in front of uh, the 318, I'm sure he can as well. And, you know, we're all trying to move forward. 318, I know he's going hard. And, you know, the distance is closing. I am, you know, as I mentioned, I, I, I was feeling more comfortable going through that last section. But obviously the 318 is getting through that last turn better than I am because each lap he gaps me and then um, I'm usually able to catch him, catch up to him through these sections here. So I'm thinking if I do finally get that last corner squared away, I'm, I'm going to, you know, it, it's going to be pretty good for my lap times and uh, just my positioning, positioning in general uh, amongst all the other drivers. Because, again, he had a pretty sizable gap on me, and I've closed it. Well, I thought I closed it. He's starting to stretch it back out a little right through there. So, I think um, one race is left in the in this series. We've got the Cart Oween which is right at the end of October. I forget which day it is exactly, but um, I will be attending that race. Not sure if they're going to continue to run only this form yet. Since they got this new section of track put in, we've only run this configuration. We haven't just run the old configuration or any other you know, layout that might be available. They've got a couple of places to cut through that I'm sure they could... Um, throw some uh, added spice in there for us and, you know, give us something a little different. Um, I don't know. Maybe they will for Cardoween since it's kind of a... The Cardoween's a pretty fun event. They, um... The kids trick-or-treat, I believe, after the race is over. And so, you know, some of the drivers will, you know, once the race is over, they'll kind of, you know, it's not... It's kind of like the trunk-or-treat a little bit, you know, where everything's right there and the kids all walk around in their costumes and get some candies. Probably next season I will do this uh, Pro-Am karting series again. Doesn't overload you with the amount of races that you know that it has on the schedule. It started with seven races this season, but with the uh, round two being canceled, we're only going to have six. I personally will only compete in uh, five of them, and hopefully the drop will be the one that I just flat out missed. I was fifth in points. But after missing that last race, I'm sure that uh, I was passed. I know uh, my buddy Otto, he, um, he finished second place, so it was a really good points day for him. And uh, that should jump him up substantially in the standings. But we have now got that group of one, two, three, four carts much closer. Through the GoPro, it does look a little further away than it actually seems, you know, as the driver's sitting there. They seem like they're right there. In my mind, I just need to dive deep into one corner and brake hard, and I got them all. You know, they're right there. 
Oh, that's not exactly how it ends up working, but that's what, you, that's what I'm thinking sometimes. Now the 55, he gets a, a great exit out of that last little hairpin and pulls up next to me. And I'm like, oh, bummer. But I jump in behind him. And actually, I think I kind of swerved around a little bit right there. I didn't want to hit the brakes or come off the gas, so I just kind of took the turn a little bit wider so I could keep my foot pounded into it. He gets a little bit better turn than I do right there. I definitely think I might have, uh, you know, as you're driving, you do start to get, a, you're obviously going to get a little bit tired. This, although people don't think this is super strenuous, it can be pretty strenuous. And if you don't really. I totally screwed up right there. As you can see, I did not get a good um, exit out of that corner, and I just was coming too straight at the grass and had to turn it too hard at the end, and it just scrubbed a ton of speed off, and I got massively gapped by the 318 and the 55. And I think we only have like two laps left, and I'm just like, oh, man. My chances of uh, getting the 55 back are pretty much gone now. But as I was saying, you know, you start to get tired and you really have to concentrate on not getting sloppy at the end of these races because typically your tires will heat up. Sometimes you'll lose a little grip towards the end of a end of a session, or sometimes they'll get extra sticky and just really be sticking hard in the track and it it puts a little extra bounce and jump in the in the cart. So it, it's definitely important to even try to increase your focus on the last remaining laps. Although you're tired, and sometimes you just want the damn race to get over before you puke in your helmet or something like that. But you really gotta, you know, keep on to it. So, we are coming to the checker just as I thought after screwing up that corner. I didn't have a prayer in the world of catching those two guys. And there's nobody behind me. And that is it. I finished 12th. So have a good one, everybody. We'll see you at the Grands videos. I'm going to try to work hard to get those out this week. That was a lot of fun, a lot of action. They should be good. Have a good one.